Hello, it's Sarah. So I wanted to come back and show you what I came up with um, for those little angel ornaments, I guess, um, with the butterfly wings. Um, my first idea was just to take the, um, this is the, I guess it's like industrial tape, that silver foil tape, and I put it on right onto the um, chipboard. I just put a piece on each side of the wings and I embossed it um, with the Baroque, I think, embossing folder. And I used um, alcohol ink. So I took like a green and a red that I had and then I sanded it and it, it was a mess. It just came up, um, it looks scratched. I did like how the alcohol ink stayed in the bottom of the of the um, embossed areas and then the the tops of it got so it was silver but it's just rough and it's a mess and I couldn't use it I was like oh no 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 so then I decided to just trace the butterfly wings onto this paper which is recollections puts this out and it it I can't I'm looking through oh foil paper it's just actually like it's a cardstock so it's it's like it's pretty thick and it's like mirrored on both sides and it comes with this this pack was gold and um, silver I think there's a green and red and like different colors I only got the gold and silver though um, so I decided to just trace the butterfly onto here and then I used the alcohol ink first before I embossed it which worked much better I think well I actually have one of these like it just it covered better and then when you emboss it it just came out um, all throughout the design of the embossing it was up and down and all around so then I just ended up mod podging um, all right I'll show you so this is my first one I'll leave my favorite to last this one I did not emboss but I did just cut this one I think was on gold the gold paper or no it's silver I think I can see the silver underneath the the green kind of looks gold but that's red and green um, alcohol ink and um, I just uh, Mod Podge I did the same thing on a piece of um, Christmas paper and just Mod Podge the um, chipboard with the metallic on one side and I just Mod Podge paper onto the other I put stickles in between so like the edges are stickled so you can't write I kind of use um I did use distress ink and all that to kind of distress it too I distressed the back so this is the first one I mean I like the size of them I think that that was fine I don't really love anything about this one. Oh, I also used um, distress stickles because I wanted to see if it would come out glittery and it's on there but I think it's just with the metallic paper it doesn't shimmer it doesn't shine like it would if it were on like something dull so not recommended and I did that to all of them but I just I don't think it was worth it I mean I can see it on there but it's not like glimmery it's not shining so um, yeah I tried it I didn't know it was gonna happen and so that's my first one and I don't, like I said I don't really love anything about this one but they get better the next one I did this one's my second I only did three so this one's not my favorite, but she turned out really cute. And I actually love this image. She's just precious with her little flowers and her hair flower garland. But see how this one is embossed and it kind of gives the um, illusion of, of butterfly wings, how they have the veins in them and everything. So I, I definitely liked that effect better um, than the plain, than the flat, just high shine of this one. Um, I like the emboss better and I put the distress stickles on here too and again um, didn't you don't really notice it so it's not really worth it then I just like outline things with regular stickles I put the red stickles in between I did the Christmas paper again on the back and then just put a hanger and a bell and a little bead dangle this was kind of what was left from a charm bracelet that I got and just a few um, bead dangles on there so real simple kind of small it's actually not that small it's like it's three inches wide it's pretty nice size actually I'll hang it up and show at the end but this is my favorite this one it just turned out the cutest I think I really love this piece this was left from that charm bracelet 
Um, I'm gonna lay it down. I guess I'm shouldn't. I don't really need to hold it. This this um, little charm was part of the charm bracelet. Most of this stuff was part of the charm bracelet. This big snowflake. Um, the beads weren't. So I guess I took off the snowflake and I took this package off and put the package up here. And then this big kind of ring was part of it. So I just put that up there. But I just really like how the wings turned out on these. I mean, they're really reflective. And I love the embossing. This one just turned out really good. And it's, again, it's the same um, Christmas paper on the back. And it makes it much more sturdy too. Like this is this is pretty sturdy. And I just put stickles in the in the little valley between all the papers. And then I outlined a little stickles too. This is actually, is that gold or green? I think that I have a light green. I think it, I did it in that. But um, this is my favorite. I just like how it turned out. It came together. I'm going to hang it real quick and I'll show the angle. It might be too long to hang on this one. It is, of course. I'll hang it. I guess the bell kind of hangs in the face too. I just like it. I like the, the, um, it ends up a little bigger, but I have a bottle cap here. I didn't think a bottle cap. I, I was thinking about a cork actually. I was thinking about putting a cork down there, but I didn't want to get all caught up in that. I already took my beads out again, which I didn't want to do. But this is my favorite. I think it turned out pretty cool. I could. I think I might put the year on the back. So that's it. That's what they turned out like. Pretty cute. I still like, I think I like my quirks better though. All right. Thanks for watching.